Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you this green with envy kind of a eye look. This is a hello cut crease look and I wanted to try something new, something different. I wanted to come out of my comfort zone and this is what I came up with and I am pretty much happy with the result. I hope you guys enjoy this video and before starting, if you are new here, then hi, I am Nita. I upload makeup, skincare and beauty related videos every alternative day. Please take a moment to subscribe for that go to your youtube app and press that red subscribe button also press that bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever i upload and it's absolutely free so yeah without further ado let's get started first i'm taking this maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade in the shade black brown and i'm just drawing the borders of my brows first then i'll be filling it in using smaller strokes i already shared with you my eyebrow routine a couple of months ago i will link that video down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out now i'm just combing my brows so that there is no excess product I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Concealer in C7 and with this lip brush from Punastro, I'm just carving out the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined. Now all the products and their shades, everything will be mentioned in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out. I'm taking this Essence Eye Love Stage Eyeshadow Primer and I'm just priming my eyelids. You can use your regular concealer as well, I'm using it just because I got it. I'm just blending it out using my finger. Now I'm taking this Varth & Doris loose powder in 07 and I'm slightly setting the primer because I need that tackiness. I'm taking Midwest from my Makeup Revolution Emily Edits The Wands palette and I'm just warming up my crease a bit. I'm also applying the color on my outer V area because I want that blown out kind of effect. Now I'm taking Corduroy which is a dark forest green color and I'm applying it on my outer V area with this elf brush and I'm also applying it on my inner corner as well I already did a full swatch video of this palette if you want to check that video out I'm going to link that video down in the description bar below please go ahead and check that out now I'm just connecting those two corners to my crease I'm taking dark and early which is a matte black eyeshadow and I'm just repeating the previous step here that means I'm applying it on my outer V area on my inner corner then I'm just joining those two corners through my crease I'm going to cut my crease uh, and I'm creating a funnel like shape here you guys can see so first I'm marking the area where I want to place my cut crease and then I'm going to take my simple micellar water in a q-tip and i'm going to clean up uh, my eyelid completely so that i get a nice clean and sharp cut crease i'm reapplying the concealer again I'm just diffusing the borders with my finger so that blending becomes easier later on. I'm slightly setting the concealer again. I'm taking corduroy again with the same elf brush and I'm applying it on my outer corner and on my inner corner and you guys can see I'm creating a gradient here. I'm taking side hustle which is a shimmery green color and I'm applying it on the borders I'm repeating the same thing for my inner corner as well I'm taking grateful which is again a shimmery green color but it is a shade lighter than the previous one and I'm applying it on the center I'm taking this Milani Hypnotic Lights Eye Topper in Electric Forest and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelid. These eye toppers are so so good. You have to get it. You have to. These are really really good. I'm taking Dark and Early and with this small brush I'm just applying it on the borders of my cut crease so that my cut crease look looks even prominent 
and well defined. I'm just blending out the edges using corduroy. I have taken a little bit of corduroy with this wet and wild crease brush and I'm just slowly diffusing the borders. I'm going to leave my eye look here and I'm going to finish my face for that I'm taking this Maybelline Master Studio Master Studio Primer Blur Plus Smooth Primer and I'm just priming my face this is again my favorite primer and I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago I'm color correcting my face a bit for that I'm using my LA Girl orange color corrector and I'm applying it underneath my eyes and my mouth because I have pigmentation of, on those areas and I'm just blending it out using my finger. For my foundation I'm going with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Classic Beige and I'm just buffing it in using my Real Techniques buffing brush. For highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same concealer and I'm applying it underneath my eyes, on the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, cupid bow, chin, on the sides of my mouth and just under where I'm going to place my contour next. Now again, I'm just blending everything out using a damp beauty sponge. This one is from Maybelline. I'm setting my under eyes and my smile lines using the same damp beauty sponge and for that I'm using the same. Varathan Doris loose powder to set my entire face I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder in transparent I'm applying a lot of loose powder underneath my eyes if I get any fallout due to the eyeshadows I can dust it off later without spoiling my base I'm going to finish my eye makeup for that first I'm tight lining my eyes using my Jordana Easy Liner in Jet Black I'm applying the green matte green eyeshadow which is corduroy and as you guys can see I am taking it a bit lower than usual it will give me that perfect blown out effect now with an angled brush I'm applying side hustle on the center of my lower lash line I'm applying the Milani eye topper on top of side hustle again I'm curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm applying a coat of mascara. This is my Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. And I'm just dusting off the excess powder with this e.l.f. highlighting brush. For my falsies, I'm going to use this Adel 3D Fox Mink Lashes in 857 off camera. And... I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners with my Milani highlighter in the shade Afterglow. And here is the final eye look. Please let me know your thoughts about this look in the comment section down below. I'm going to finish my face for that first I'm taking this Wet n Wild contour palette and I'm just carving out the parameters of my face like the hollows of my cheeks, jawline forehead and my nose for that I'm using an eyeshadow brush from wet and wild for my blush I'm using this wet and wild color icon blush in mellow wine and I'm applying it on my cheeks using this stripling brush from wet and wild I'm using the same Milani highlighter and I'm hitting the high points of my face with this fan brush like my cheekbones chin cupid bow down the bridge of my nose on the sides of my forehead to have that overall glow for my lips I'm first lining my lips using my wet and wild perfect pout gel lip liner in the shade lay down the mauve I'm taking this NYX lip lingerie in the shade teddy and yeah I'm just applying it on my lips of course it's a lipstick and I did set my makeup with my flower beauty makeup setting spray and I do not know what happened I just could not find the clip I'm sorry for that but I did set my makeup and here is the final look 
i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends and family and let them know about my channel if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below please go ahead and check that out so see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care